بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing there are different methods to do that like i said if you want the users of one department or one vlan to communicate with other vlan users you need to do some kind of routing so some kind of routing is involved and we call this as a vlan routing and we have different methods we can use a router in the first two scenarios i'll be using a physical router the router device which is doing the routing uh, to to send the traffic so not commonly used methods but still we'll see to understand the basic routing but basically these are the two methods a legacy methods we can say uh, the first one is actually a legacy method no more used uh, but second method you may see in some scenarios by using router and dot one go trunks probably in the next uh, two scenarios will be using l3 switches so most of the today's production scenarios will be using l3 switches which uh, which are capable of doing the routing job as well so we'll be using some multi layer switch or an l3 switch which is going to do the layer 2 job for forwarding the packets within the lan based on the mac addresses and also doing the layer 3 job uh, where it can also forward the packet based on the ip addresses so well, there are again in that there are two different methods the third one is the uh, commonly used one we'll use this of course routed ports also we use in some uh, different scenarios we'll also see those options here 